What's up guys? Welcome back. This is our fifth official episode of the Ass to the Grass update show. So, welcome back guys. Great to have you. Yeah. <laughs> week five of the, the update show, but uh, week four of the competition. That's right. We're in the thick of it. And shall we talk about what everybody really came here to see? The standings. The standings. So um, I crunched the numbers again this week, and Team Sam, we we had a good week. We had a strong week. Wasn't our best week. Wasn't our worst week. Kind of somewhere in the middle. We were able to put out six thousand four hundred and fifty-seven total points up to this point. That's six thousand four hundred fifty-seven points for Team Sam. Great job, guys. Keep it up. Yeah, big week. Big week for points all around. Um, <laughs> good job, Team Sam, but great job, Team Arden. Uh, this week, our running total is 11,583 points for a spread of... 5,126-point lead. So, it sounds like a lot. And let's be honest, it is a lot. But, uh, you know, there's still two weeks of competition left. Some big points coming up on the board. And I'm planning on coaxing Arden into upping the points in the weeks to come. So, there's still hope. No, nah, no. Nah. Consistency pays. So, keep it up, Team Arden. Keep pushing. Final two weeks. We got this. All right. So, let's talk about, uh, if you haven't seen it already, there was a flash challenge posted today. It was very simple. It was spend three minutes in the bottom of a squat. This is something we often do at the gym before classes. Uh, it's something I often do just during different times during the day. Uh, while reading, just when I get, get up in the morning. Uh, great way to just improve your overall mobility and keep your joints healthy, whether it's your back, your hips, your knees, your ankles. Spending a little bit of time in a squat is good for you. That's uh, I like to press it. There you go. Very well. Beautiful. So, um, good job. I see Arden's getting her three minutes and getting her team some points. So, go ahead, guys. Do it. And as always, share it on social media so that we can see it and give your team some points. Now, we have a, another flash challenge coming out this week. You're going to have the full week up until Monday morning to have it posted, or we'll call it Midnight Sunday. Um, it's gonna be doing a full meal prep. Now, Art, do you wanna talk about why we meal prep? What is meal prep? What do the people need to know? Why do the people need to know? Well, meal prep can look a lot of different ways for a lot of different people. Um, what it is, it's batch bulk cooking so that you can reduce the amount of choices you have to make throughout the week and have healthy options easily available to you. So Sam and I have been meal prepping together since we moved in. Yeah. Um, and the way that we do it is we cook our meals for the five days, the Monday through Friday, because we do still enjoy having some flexibility on the weekend. Um, but so yeah, we batch cook our, our protein together and then we, we make salads for the week. We don't put dressing on them so they don't get soggy. But so that's one way that you can do it is you can you can just do lunches you could do breakfast lunch dinner which we do more meals when we're out of the house more mm -hmm. um but you could also just batch cook the the food as in like you could do a bunch of protein and just have a container of protein ready you could do a bunch of rice and have rice ready and then just compile them so that's more of a, a bulk style one um or you can do it a meal at a time and so we find that it just it helps us make healthy choices during the day, we get busy, we get stressed, and so it's really nice that we have something to grab that we know is going to fuel us rather than bog us down for the day. Uh, yeah, and just to kind of kind of highlight a couple of things that Arden said there, um, I don't know about you guys, but just off the top of my head, when I commute to and from the gym, I go by a Tim Hortons, I go by McDonald's, I go by A and W, I go by all these fast food joints that are easy, accessible, and quick. So the whole idea of having the meals in front of you is just having that, like Arden says, that 
easy choice. So you don't have to, you know, slip into the drive through You don't have to go through your snack drawer. Having that meal already made for you is going to make sure that when you're tired, when you're fatigued after a long day, you're going to make the proper choices. Now, I know a lot of us aren't going through drive throughs these days, but again, that snack drawer is still there. So having that meal prep is just a great way to keep yourself from making those impulsive choices, which we sometimes do. I sometimes do. So, um, challenge is simple. You got until Sunday at midnight to do any sort of meal prep uh, that is bulk uh, meal production in advance. Take a picture, take a video, um, you know, document it, show it with us, show it to us on social media, and you will get your team. This should be a big one. I'd say 50 points. Can we go 50 points? No. 50 is a little crazy. 50 points? No. No. 30? 30 points. I'll meet you in the middle. All right. I wanted 100, but we'll go 30 points. If you post it, show us. Um, yeah. There you go, guys. There's your flash challenge for this week. Now, uh, should we talk about some weekly awards? Let's do it. Do you want to take any of them off the top? Sure. So home gym of the week, it was a it was a tight race this yeah, week. Yeah. We had some awesome submissions, mm -hmm. some indoor, some outdoor. But this week it's gonna go to Brenda. She yeah. has a lot of space for activities, lots of room for burpees, lunges, even some rower, rower in there, barbell. Yeah. Uh, there were some dumbbells, kettlebells. Some maybe? crazy kids as well. Some crazy kids, yeah. So, yeah, check out her space. I think she posted it in the group. Yep. But looks like there's lots of fun to be had over there. Yeah, awesome. Uh, all right, let's talk about photo of the week. So, um, photo of the week goes to Carling Wright, who somehow was able to get a picture of her pup at a standing desk working with glasses on. Very impressive, Carling. Um, very cute, too. Very cute. Um, way to train an animal. Very impressive. All right. Athlete of the week, shall athlete I? Athlete of the week, I think. You got it? Mm -hmm. All right, take it away. Athlete of the week. So this athlete has been consistent right from, from week one, and she's had a fighting spirit. She has been logging workouts. She's been interacting on the leaderboard, and she's been very present on social media as well. Mm -hmm. So this week's athlete of the week is Cheryl. Cheryl. Yeah, so keep up the good work. Love seeing you interacting and getting in on the group workouts too with Lori and Lila and Shiva too. I think they're in there. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. So this week, Cheryl. There you go. And lastly, video of the week uh, on social media. You guys may have seen a challenge going around where people kick up into a handstand and put a shirt on while upside down. I have a hard enough time putting my shirt on upright and I no, my dentist isn't in town right now, so I wasn't willing to do the challenge. But uh, three brave souls, maybe more. I saw three brave souls. Uh, so kudos to you guys. It was Sarah Kennedy, Will Richardson, and Kayla Kirkness. So good job, guys. I gave the award to Will, but the three of you are winners. Kudos to you guys. All right. Uh, let's talk about some bright spots from last week things to look forward to this coming week. The first thing is the flash challenge from last week. Uh, it was very cool to see everybody's standing desks. Um, I can't emphasize enough how important it is to spend time standing or in a squat and not sitting like I am now. So kudos to you guys who all posted your awesome desks. Some of them terrified me. Some of them were, you know, made me envious and uh, yeah, it's a great job. And uh, kudos to all the stand-ins who helped out and were, you know, human standing desks. So, um, next thing we want to talk about is uh, Team of Three workout. Saturday's Saturday. workout. So, when you guys go into Sugar Wad, Saturday we have posted a Team of Three workout. We do have a solo version available as well. But, we challenge you guys to hop on Zoom or messenger or myspace or whatever you kids are using these days and try and get a partner workout in with some other people or drag your family in on it more yes, the merrier absolutely drag them in and 
Next up, IG Takeover. So in week two, we did an Instagram takeover with two of our athletes and we got great feedback. You guys loved it. And so we decided we're gonna bring it back for this week, but we're gonna let you guys pick. So let us know, send us a DM, message us. Who do you wanna you know, get a little uh, peek into their quarantine lives? Which members on the team are you interested in seeing? So let us know, we'll reach out to them and see if we can start up a Instagram takeover this week with your favorite BTV athletes. And we'll be accepting nominations until Tuesday at midnight. Sounds good. Yeah. Tuesday at midnight. Um, yeah, and kind of one thing that I really liked this last week that Arden touched upon is the group workouts. So it can be tough to, you know, keep motivation, especially when, you know, you're locked down with one or two other people for an extended period of time. Um, and so it's always helpful to, you know, meet up with friends. I think that's what makes the gym so special. And uh, it was very cool to see it was Sheba, Lori, Lila, and Cheryl working mm -hmm. out together. So uh, great job, ladies. It's very cool to see you guys kind of keep each other accountable and uh, working hard. So good shit. Can I swear <laughs> on this? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Good shit. Um, speaking of good shit. Do you want to talk about our dinner the other night? Yes. So while a lot of us aren't going out for meals, I don't think anyone can at this point, um, it can get a little boring at, at home eating the same things over and over. So it's kind of nice to, to spice it up a bit. So one thing that we did this week is we ordered from Good Food, which was something we had both heard about but had not done before. And so it's a meal kit. So they give you the recipes and all the ingredients and the instructions and so easy. There's pictures along the way, there's instructions and the food was pretty damn good. Pretty darn good. Yeah. It's delicious. So it's something that we definitely enjoyed this week and kind of changed our pace yeah. and it was fun. It was a fun activity to do together. It's like a date night. Yeah. It was a date night at home because yeah, you can't go out and do things. Yeah. So definitely recommend that. Yeah, so what we actually realized, which was very cool, is they have an awesome referral program with Good Food. So we are going to attach a link below, and I think it gets you guys, what, like $40 off your first box? Yeah, 40 40 bucks. Um, you're basically getting that those first meals almost, I don't know, Arden did all the money, but <laughs> it was... It was cheap. She crunched the number per meal and you're getting a great deal. So we're going to attach it below. If you guys want to try the good food box out, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed getting away from bacon and eggs for a uh, change. And uh, yeah, we're going to do it again tonight. So yeah. Bon appetit. Our gift to you. Enjoy it. And that concludes our update show. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Have a great week. And yeah, let us know uh, who you guys want to see on the takeover. Yeah, I'm excited to see your meal prep too. Yeah, that too. Ciao, guys. <laughs>